Hi everybody, today I'll show you how to create a construction company website in WordPress. So let's just begin. Alright, so the first thing that we need to do is to go inside the plugins and click on add new plugin. And from here we have to install two plugins. So the first one is Elementor. So let's install this. And after that we have to install starter templates. Okay, so let's click on install now. And now what we need to do, we have to go inside the appearance and click on themes and we have to install Astro theme. Okay, so I have already installed the Astro theme. So now I just need to activate this. Now let's go inside the plugins and click on install plugins. And from here we have to activate both of these plugins from here. So let's click on plugin here, click on bulk action and let's just select the activate, click on apply. So this would activate both of the plugins. Okay. So right now, as you can see here, we are actually inside the starter templates. So let's click on build with templates. So since we want to create a construction website, so let's just write down. All right. So you can see the construction here and here you will be able to see the different templates of a construction website. So I think I would go here with the first one because this template really aligns with the construction company website. So let's click on this. All right, so this is the template that we are using for our construction website. All right, so if you want to upload your own logo here, you can simply do it from here. But I will be going here with the current logo. So let's click on skip and continue. And from here, we can change the theme color if you want to. And we can also change the font from here as well. Okay, so let's click on continue. So now if you want to add your details here, you can simply do it from here. And you can also see the advanced options. So you can simply check and uncheck any of these uh, options accordingly. So let's click on submit and build my website. So now the start template will start building our website from here. All right. So now our website is ready. So now what we need to do, we have to click on view your website and we will be redirected to our construction company website from here. All right. So as you can see here that this is how our website is looking. So it has the heading, it has the menus and after that we have this quality services and after that you can see that we are having the multiple different sections here. Okay, so if you want to edit this, you can simply do it with the help of Elementor. Okay, so how can we do this? It's pretty simple. All we need to do is to click on edit with Elementor and then we will be inside the Elementor editor. Alright, so as you can see here, we are inside the Elementor editor. So if you want to customize the heading, you simply click on the heading and from here you can see here we have the title and we have the HTML tag and if you want to go into the styling of the heading, we can simply go inside the style from here and from here you can see the option of alignment, text color, typography, text stroke, text shadow and after that we have the plain board and for the advanced settings, you can go inside the advanced, all right. And in a similar way, if you want to change the paragraph text, you simply click on it. And from here, you can change the paragraph text from here. And if you want to change the styling of the paragraph text, you can simply go inside the style. And from here, you can see the option of the styling here. Okay. And after that, we have our button. So if you click on the button, you will be able to see the type of the button. You will be able to see the text that we have on our button and the link that we have on our button. And we can also see the other options here, just like the alignment, size, icon. And after that, we have the button ID. Okay. And if you want to change the styling of the button, you can also do it with the help of style. And here you will be able to see the different options that we can use to change the styling of our button. And you can also see this background. So if you want to change this, you will simply need to go inside this container. Let's click on it. Alright, so now you can see this in the container, we have the different properties that we can manipulate. So we have the content width, we have the width, min height, and we also have the direction, justify content, align items, and gap. And we can also see the additional options here as well. Okay, so if you want to go inside the style, you will be able to see the option of the background here. So from here, we can simply change our background. And we can also change the positioning, attachment, repeat property and the display size of the background as well. And if you want to provide the overlay color over your background, just like we have already did, you simply click on it. And from here, we can add the overlay color on our background. And we can also see the option of border and shape divider as well. And if you want to go into the advanced settings, you can simply do it from here. 
all right so in the advanced settings we have the layout and we also have the different options here as well such as the motion effects transform responsive and you can also see the other options so if i just scroll down so we have this section and we have this text so if you want to edit the text button or the heading it can be done in the similar way so if i just scroll down you can see we have the images here so if you want to edit or change the image all you would need to do is to click on the image from here and from here you can choose the image so if i can click on it you will be able to see the options or the images that we have in the media library okay so that is how we can change the image if you want to and if you want to add the new section you simply click on add container and from here you will be able to add a new section so for example i want to add the new section with the two columns so i simply click on it and you will be able to see a new section here as well so right now i just want to delete this so this is how we can create a construction company website in wordpress so if you really find this video useful hit the like button and subscribe to the channel